Hi everyone, my name is Mark Bonner. I'm the dentist for 45 years and I would like to talk to you about periodontal disease. So we teach many dentists to uh, cure the periodontal disease with the help of a microscope. So I would, like to, I would just like to do this video so to explain to you what is the disease how, and how we can help uh, curing this disease. So many of us, we know there are bacteria, plaque is a problem and there are many kinds of bacteria that can bring to a gingivitis disease. This is the beginning. So normally when you have hell, you have little cocci, double cocci and little filament bacteria. When you get into the disease, gingivitis, mostly you have motile bacteria like sporocade, vibrio, bacilli, whatever, and you have the gingivitis disease. So we know green complex is the good bacteria, red complex is real bad bacteria with pathogen with a lot of uh, motility, most of them. But uh, 100 years ago, some dentists say, uh, when we look at the microscope, we find parasites into the gum and we find those parasites all the time. And removing those parasites, we can cure the disease. So this is uh, in uh, 1914, 1925. So this is a long time ago. But what happened is most dentists, they do not use the microscope. They don't know much about the microbiota uh, looking at the microscope. Microscope is very useful. It's used everywhere in medicine, everywhere in science. So microscope is a very good tool to see or remove the disease. So we use many microscopes. The last one used is like a very good microscope. So you can see the microbes during the period of the disease and see how you can be cured. So. I'll show you this is a normal biofilm, normal microbiota of healthy patient. So what you see are dots and lines, not moving bacteria, uh, dots and lines. Those are cocci and filament, non motile cocci and filament, and epithelial cell. So this is always the same thing when you are uh, healthy. You have healthy microbiota. So this is normal. Uh, if you look at a cured patient, you'll see the same thing. Dots and line, dots and line, cocci and filament, non motile cocci, non motile filament. So bringing you back to this biofilm is like a tautology. You can be cured in the same time. So it's quite easy. Now, if you look at periodontal disease, it's really different, really awful. So you find those big parasites, Antamoeba gingivalis, with the nucleus, and they feed on nucleus of white cells. This is a baby one, this is a smaller one, and you have white cells here. So those are neutrophil, neutrophil, white cell, bad bacteria, and other parasites. But you see how the parasite is acting. It's moving around within the gum, at the bottom of the gum line and it is destroying your um, your uh, fibers and bones. So it's some kind of a larva with pseudopod and you see it's moving around and eating your white and red cells. So this really is a vampire, really is an aggressive predator uh, parasite. So 100% patient you have this parasite almost all the time unless you had antibiotic or some antiparasitic uh, medication. So don't keep those parasites moving around eating your white cell. I can show you another case. This is a pregnant lady. She has periodontal disease. You see a lot of motile bacteria, very active. And you see again those parasites moving around like larvae and they go everywhere and they eat your white cell and release an uh, enzyme from the neutrophil that goes down to the bottom of the pocket and break fibers and uh, break the bone. So don't keep those, absolutely. Now, when you have aggressive disease, it's 30% of uh, periodontal disease is mostly severe. When you have severe periodontal disease, you have a second parasite. Those are trichomonas. You have some amoeba here. 
and three common hours, six, seven, three common hours going around. So this is real uh, pathogen parasite. So three common hours, ten acts. It's like three common hours vaginalis. It makes putrescin and cadaverin. So it smells real bad when you have those. So those are 30% of periodontal disease, mostly the severe ones. So don't keep this. Uh, here another patient with uh, the severe disease. You see the three common hours going around with the flagella. Goes like this, many immortal bacteria. And you see those parasite trichomonas uh, present during the disease. So one third of the disease is severe. And when it is severe, you mostly find uh, both parasite amoeba and trichomonas going like this. See, they're just like uh, fighting with the flagella. They break the cell with their four flagella. They go like this and they break the cell. So don't keep those. Uh, now, I was talking about the amoeba feeding on the nucleus of the white cell. This is normal cell to defend yourself, white cell, neutrophil. And you see the amoeba just eat the nucleus of the white cell. So your white cell, this is your soldier, cannot defend you uh, anymore because they lose the nucleus. So they cannot... Uh, defend yourself anymore. You see, so the amoeba feeds one, two, three, three neutrophils today. So this is very aggressive predator. This has been presented to a scientific American you can find. Now curing the disease is important because we know periodontal disease is related to many diseases like lung cancer, pneumonia, uh, peptic ulcers, osteoporosis, rheumatoid arthritis, many forms of cancer, and uh, Alzheimer. If you have periodontal disease, you have four, six times more period, uh, risk of having uh, Alzheimer's disease. So it's better to be cured of the disease. Now, when I speak about parasite, you have to understand those are not opportunist parasites. You don't find those parasites in healthy patients. No parasite. Only periodontal disease. It's 100%. It's specific real infection. You get those parasites from the environment, kissing, water, uh, pets, whatever, and you get disease and then you are infected and lose your bone. So this I explained many dentists at many congress how we can cure the disease, removing the pathogen here and going back to normal healthy biofilm with the help of the microscope and sure you can be cured. It just works if you remove pathogen microbes. So this is normal white, this is normal epithelial cells, that's in line. This is periodontal disease. White cell is killing the neutrophil, eating the nucleus, uh, making babies, and you get the disease. So now we have a format to uh, understand how you can be cured. It's about one year treatment with the help of the microscope, and then you be cured. So curing rate is about 95, 97%. This was published in uh, 2013. So it's about 97% cure from uh, 600 patients in France, different clinics. So you really can be cured from the disease quite easily. Uh, I published in dentistry and neuromaxillofacial surgery how we have those parasites. This is one millimeter by one millimeters. So it's like 80 uh, parasites within one millimeter. So it's fairly big infection with those uh, amoeba parasites. Uh, this is normal epithelial cell, normal uh, biofilm. Then you get those parasites within the biofilm. And those parasites, they just go on everywhere. They do babies. They get bigger and they eat a lot of cells like this one has eaten like 20 white cells uh, during the day. They move around, they go like a little fish into the, the bottom of the gum. They eat cell, they eat one, two, four at the time, in the same time. So they are real aggressive pathogen parasites. So 
this is really the source of the periodontal disease. Even they can um, <coughs> nest within the gum, they even can um, eat your red cell. Here you see they eat the red cell, so they nourish us from red cell and white cell and epithelial cell. So this is fairly something to get rid of if you want to be cured. And the most important is the more the deepest is your pocket, the more you have those parasites. So at the beginning there's just a little ones and then you have more and more and more and then you have pus at the same time and you have the disease. So we have a protocol to cure the disease which is about 10 appointments and the fourth first month are dedicated to uh, remove the parasite, remove the bacteria. So we use um, hydrogen peroxide, baking soda and salt and then we remove the calculus and then we let some time to heal so the bone can grow back again. So doing normal SRP, normal uh, deep cleaning only gives a 10 to 20 percent cure at the best. If you have uh, antibiotic or antiparasitic drug, you may have 50% cure in the universities. But if you take our technique, use our technique, we compl completely eradicate the parasite and you get completely cured. So it goes from parasite here and you go back to health. So this is quite uh, simple to understand. So those are all the bad bacteria, the good one. We remove the bad one, we only keep the good ones and you'll be cured. So first thing is get rid of the microbes, have perfect hygiene and stop contamination with husband, pets, water or whatever and then you'll be cured quite easily. So stress, uh, smoking, uh, porphyromonas, little bacteria is a little problem but most problem is you have gingivitis and most the biggest problem is you have uh, this high risk parasite infection, 600 time risk. So get rid of gingivitis and get rid of the parasite and you'll be cured within about one year. So we remove all those bad bacteria, we go back to green ones. So this is Bonner method. Dentists can find it on internet. We explain all the microbes within the disease. We learn from Trevor Lyons who said a long time ago we can cure the disease removing the protozoa and removing the parasite. So we have the book on uh, how to cure the disease in English. It's to cure or not to kiss or not to kiss a cure for gum disease you can find on internet and read the book and understand what's going on. So we have published many studies so just write our name Mark Bonner on internet and you can find uh, all those uh, related um, studies. Thank you very much and take care, have a good periodontal health, good health. Take care.